Flexible working is one of the realities of the COVID-19 regime. Advances in technology and societal trends mean it's been possible for workers to still work on their deliverables. Now, joining us to discuss more on this is Falake Adeni Adeleke, founder co Achivate. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. It's Falake Adeni Adeleke, co Achivate. Thank you. First of all, we hear that South Africa is uh, celebrating Women's Month. How much progress has been achieved where women in uh, South Africa is concerned, especially as regards the work culture? Thank you for having me. So South African women are actually not uh, alone. You know, this is something that is akin to women all over the world. You know, um, so women are speaking up more in the workplace. Women are upskilling themselves. Women are coming together to have the difficult um, conversations. And um, the truth about it is there's still a long way to go when it comes to uh, being able to skill women properly and have them do whatever it is that they need to achieve in uh, the workplace. But there is progress on the work culture side. Now, what changes have you observed in work culture practices during this COVID-19 period? And uh, has it worked to our advantage? Um, the truth about it is, when it comes to working from home, of course, we have had to embrace technology. Communication has become extremely key, where we have to now rely on our devices, on video conferencing, uh, platforms like Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Skype, are actually the way we practically conduct our work and conduct business uh, these days. Of course, employers now have also a duty of care when it comes to taking care of their employees from a safety point of view, a wellness point of view, and even how you engage them. And of course, the results um, are really what they need to speak for themselves. I mean, separated from presence. So, the issue now is how do you get results from employees who are not in the workplace versus if they were actually present in the workplace. And therefore, we also need to be trained our managers on getting results in that, in that um, uh, area. For some of these changes you've mentioned, why do you think it's taken so long for them to be adopted? And uh, could it be because women are often the ones affected when it comes to flexible work practices? You know, every, everybody has a part to play when it comes to taking care of the home or being at work. But of course, women still, um, I mean, there's still quite a bit of discrimination, uh, you know, in the workplace. There is, we still have to take care of issues regarding equal pay, you know, and um, women still need to, pro I mean, prove themselves much more than their male counterparts. In the, in the work environment. And don't forget that there's also the motherhood penalty, which you know, women also suffer when they go on leave after, after giving birth and so on and so forth. So it's, um, there are, like, I mean, like everything in life, there's, there are pros and cons when it comes to um, this issue and how we're making progress. Mm. Now, um, how do you ensure uh, that the gains are maintained post COVID? It's a good question. And um, of course, I mean, right now we have to ensure that the issue of working from home and how we support employees become part of the policy guidelines of the organization. They also have to, we have to now look at appointing chief wellness officers, director of mental wellness, because how do we then ensure that employees are also being resilient at work in this point, I mean, at this point in time. The other issue, of course, is that, like I said before, we have to retrain our leaders. So how do we then help them to manage their employees in the area of resilience, in the area of showing empathy, in the area of transparency, and even how they maintain balance? All these are very important if we're going to maintain the gains. And I always say, there's nothing like post-COVID. We are already in the middle of 
the COVID pandemic. We are, we are already having to make those changes. We already have to put those things in place now because COVID is upon us. The new normal is already upon us. Thank you very much, Mrs. Adelaide, for being on the program today. Thank you.